For the last couple of years, I always wanted to make something or find something to do with all the plastic waste that I produce. A couple of months back, I did some tests uh, with different plastic leftovers and they turned out quite good. So I decided to start collecting my plastic trash. And it was much more than I anticipated. Welcome to Intro to Kit Bashing with Plastic Trash. The first thing I had to do was to organize all of this stuff. And I tried to organize it in a way that um, there were logical bags that I uh, like make. There's like yogurt, there's cleaning agents, blah, 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 blah. When watching my collection of plastic stuff, um, I seem to have some very consistent consumption patterns. This here are the lids for coffee creamer. I got a whole lot of them. So now there's the question if I use too much creamer or if I drink too much coffee. The next thing, vitamin stuff. Maybe I should eat more fruit. And one thing that I have in abundance, <laughs> uh, empty containers for wood glue. But if you've watched this channel, uh, then this should come as no surprise. But it doesn't stop with the stuff that you saw in the bags. Uh, I still got a special box. And in this box, I collect all kinds of uh, like awesome looking pieces. Really, look at this, nice. There's just, a, once you start to collect for this, or uh, just if you uh, open your eyes a bit, you will come across really, really great shapes. And, oh, one thing, I uh, actually bought these uh, plastic strings here, for it's really hard to paint string white. Now that I had all these materials uh, sorted, I could do my second test and this came out. Let me show you all the parts it's made of. I think this holds quite a lot of potential. Um, what do you think? Uh, is this some you could be interested in, would be interested in? I know that for sure I want to build two more, at least two more, but uh, maybe it will be <laughs> far more than two, for I just have way too much material now. Tell me what you think. Now I will show you some techniques that I came across and, and or some techniques that I want to use in further builds or in future builds. Uh, let me show you. Some easy surface detail can be achieved with applying rectangular or whatever kind of geometrical pieces to the surface of your build. Um, I'm, I'm using cardboard here and this is not really the best thing to do for the surface of cardboard uh, once you spray it uh, will always be a bit coarse. Yeah, I, I try to position everything in a way that uh, I think looks good. And then I trace around the parts. Into the inside of that trace, I lay a, a layer of hot glue. Then I push hot glue into the part that I want to glue onto it. And the hot glue on the inside will drip down onto the foundation of hot glue. And it will uh, create a really strong bond this way. And then there's this wonderful moment when you spray paint uh, what you've built and all starts to come together. 
The paint that I'm using here is a resin based uh, spray paint. Don't use acrylics or acrylic based spray paints for they really don't stick to plastic. They, uh, they just chip off. If you're using scissors to cut your plastic parts, uh, you have to be really careful for they can make your part crack. Right now, I'm using a Dremel um, with all the different tools uh, that come with it. Some good old hand filing. This helps me to get to some straight edges. Um, the scissors are still helpful for some corrections, but they're not really good if you want to uh, cut out an angle. The cardboard cutter is still a really good tool to cut the plastics and I found it to be way more effective to push to push the cutter through the plastic as opposed to pulling it. One of the most interesting parts, from, at least for me, uh, in this kit bashing process is trying to come up with surfaces that look interesting. Angling surfaces and creating negative space uh, really seems to distract uh, the viewer from the original purpose of the part that you are uh, working on. If you have some clear plastic and you want it to be really shiny, uh, then you can paint from the inside or spray paint it from the inside. This way the clear plastic becomes a, a really thick uh, clear coat on the outside. <laughs> you see what I mean here. This is uh, where I'm at right now with my techniques that I use or used. There's a whole lot of questions um, that sprung up while working on it. And yeah, uh, let me just, um, I, wrote, <laughs> I wrote them down. An easy and reliable way to close the gaps here. I want to find a way to strengthen the walls of these plastic containers here. Can I thermoform or vacuform or like vacuuming uh, use a heat gun to influence the shape of uh, some plastic parts? Can I maybe use a soldering iron to add surface detail or to uh, puncture the plastic? How can I integrate LED lighting into the build without it looking cheap? I need to find a good way to glue down strips of plastic without them having any gaps. I want to find an effective way to glue together two uh, flat pieces of plastic at an angle. And so on and so on. There's so much stuff to find out. I'm excited uh, to, to tackle this. What will my next steps in trash bashing be? Um, the first project or uh, one of the two projects that I want to tackle is um, this fan that I found, I want to sci-fi it and that means that I want to like add um, all this kind of kit bashing or trash bashing stuff to the outside of it to make it look like a sci-fi prop. That's number one. And number two uh, will be some like this, but uh, much bigger, way more detail, like crazy detail, hopefully with some LED lighting in there. 
and uh, hopefully I will have answers to all the questions that I posed before. I hope that I was able to raise your curiosity for kit bashing or trash bashing, how I would like to call it. If so, uh, feel free or feel invited to uh, learn it along with me. I hope that there's a whole lot of great stuff to be done within this field. That's why I try to uh, educate myself in this. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Don't stop creating and yeah, have a very nice day. Bye bye.